Hello and welcome everybody to this episode of Airbrushing for Beginners. In this episode I'm going to show you how to quickly change colours from one to the next. So as you can see I'm starting with an empty cup. I'm going to be doing some priming with some grey primer. I'll do this in real time. The only thing I won't show you is the actual priming of the models because you don't need to see that. So put some of the primer or it could be paint of any colour, it doesn't matter what. Get yourself piece of tissue or air, um, paper towel or something just to do a quick couple of test sprays on just to show that it's actually working. It's coming out. I'm just quickly showing you the model I'm going to be priming. Right, so we've primed the model, right, or you've painted that colour. Now you want to change colours to a different colour quickly. Priming and base colours, this is, this is easier for. You might have some left over in your cup, so what I tend to do is pour it back, whether it's you know a Vallejo or a Citadel or whatever it may be. Airbrush paints is quite uh, are quite um, thin anyway, so you can pour them quite easily. So you pour the majority back into the pot or bottle, whatever you've got, like so. Now get rid of most of it, the big, the main bulk of uh, whatever paint you were using. lid back on there. Next get a bit of uh, kitchen towel, just shove it in the cup, swish it round. I'm going to clear out the majority of the paint that way. So you've got the majority out there now already. Touching it back onto the uh, hose. I'm still spraying air through. You want to make sure you have your air pressure at quite high when you're cleaning out your brush, at least 30. Put some um, distilled water in there. Spray that through. Get yourself uh, your airbrush um, cleaning jar or pot, whatever you got. And I'm holding it there, so hopefully you can see on my chest. I don't know how you can see the the fumes coming through the vent. Till that's all gone. Bit of airbrush cleaner. This is this is just the way I do mine. Just a little bit in there, not too much. Spray that through. Remember, this is just a quick clean for a quick changeover. We'll do a more thorough clean on an, on another episode. Again, clean up the cup. You got the majority of the paint is gone now from the cup, as you can see. Hopefully, there. You could probably even do it at that stage, especially if you're priming. But we're going to assume we're going to say a base colour instead. We'll just zoom in a bit so you can see more easily. Undo the nozzles of whatever um, airbrush you're using, as shown in a previous episode. This was quite hard to do because I had to do it on my own in the end. I was hoping to get someone to help me with the filming. It's difficult to do when you have one hand on the camera sometimes or moving it around. Anyway, take the needle cone off. Now, get yourself another bit of kitchen towel. Undo the back and, and the the chuck nut at the back as well. You want to undo that one too. I don't, I'm, instead of pulling it out, push it forwards. Get any excess paint off the needle that way before you pull it back through. And before you pull it back through, you want to make sure that the cup is inside is dry. Now you can pull the needle out. Wipe off your needle. And then you're going to pop it back in. Now, I, like I said, this is just a quick clean. It's not a thorough clean. Just quickly. Put your needle uh, cone back on, which will determine how far the needle is to come forwards. The cone protector 
That is just what I call it. <laughs> Sometimes you may see that you've got a bit of gunk on there. Use an old toothbrush or something just to clean that off. Screw that back on. Then you can push your needle forwards as far as you, you can. And then screw up the chuck nut. Let's put the back casing on there. And then the needle um, protector. Oh, it doesn't cover the whole needle on the. It varies on what model it is. This is a Patriot 105, so the needle tends to stick forwards a bit, protruding slightly, so you still got to be careful. Right, now you're spraying air. A couple drops of airbrush cleaner. Cover up the end and get the back flow coming through that way. So, so you're squirting air through the airbrush but not coming out the end. And then just spray it away into your cleaning jar. Like so. A little bit of diluted water. It's the last sort of wash through. There you go. Squirt it through. And you're good to go. Now that whole process, if I'm not worrying about filming, I can do that in a couple of minutes because it really takes no time at all. But it's just, see, you're ready to put your next lot of paint in now. Next colour, next primer, whatever. And there you go. That's it. So thank you very much for watching that. Please, please, please consider checking out my Patreon page. Um, you can do so by clicking on the link in the video description below. And you can support me for as little as $1 a month. And it all goes a huge way towards my channel. It will all go back into my channel. I promise you that. And thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. As always, all brushes lead to war. Bye for now.